that's another 500 yard set As you can see the intensity of the flow is starting to slow down a little bit our crops are starting to lose its bloom so we probably have another five days left in honey flow maybe a week we haven't seen any robbing yet but that is soon this is one of my arc yards believe it or not cappings right to the top quite spectacular just shows you you should never give up just give them a chance and look what they've done for me holy smokes like these hives were extracting about 35 38 40 pounds per box times five what can i say about that i'll show you i can't maybe i'll just reach you up cappings right to the top boy that feels good Canola is done here in our land. Just, just a smattering of flowers. And we have probably five days might be stretching it over there. Not much flow. So I'm not sure if I really wanted to get too crazy on putting more space on these colonies. Because there isn't going to be much more to collect other than needing space. As you can see another swarm let's just take a peek and see if they need some space here for more honey flow yeah, I'll give these guys a box just because They're full to the top. They're not pulling cappings down yet, but that won't be long. Sure nectar coming in. You can just see the shine in the frames right now. There's wet honey in there. Nothing on this hive. plugged out. Hardly going to be worth putting a box on because that canola is just about done and there isn't anything else around here. Looking at the alfalfa, it's all cut. So we are close to having a whole bunch of unemployed bees. Pardon me? Just one. One box with every top off. I'll give these guys one. We have 30... How many have... We have 36, I think, eh? 36 boxes? 26 boxes? Okay, we'll use them all up. Nothing on this one. This one, this one. There's a colony there, that white box. It's a little crooked. Can you straighten it just to the side? You see what I mean? No, right on top, the top white box. Yeah. 
These are for sure. Maybe they'll drag another box of honey in. There's still flow going on. This one. We're just going to use all the boxes up. giving it to the guys that really need the space. This one's borderline. <laughs> Here's a box of foundation. I don't want that. That's got her done. That should hold them. We'll have to make a round to the other colonies right off the start to make sure they have enough space. It's supposed to be hot. This colony had come to accidentally got a box of foundation brought up on top and they had done absolutely nothing with it. The foundation looks like it was reworked but the bees weren't working on it at all. They had two boxes of comb and they were plugging the comb right out not moving up into the foundation. So I took that box of foundation and I moved it yeah, I sorted it in to all the boxes so it's in between two frames of comb. And that's the only way you can draw out foundation in a heavy, heavy flow. You cannot draw out foundation during a heavy flow, like boxes of it. Otherwise, they're just going to plug themselves up below. This huge amount of field force coming in right now. There's a tremendous amount of nectar coming in. And these bees, these foragers, bring it all in and they drop it on the front step to the processor bees and they head back out. And all this nectar that's coming in has to be put somewhere. They don't have time to build wax to drop that, all that payload. They need to put it somewhere and they gotta put it in comb. So we have to be ahead with comb and with these bees at all times. And if they don't have the comb, because it's foundation or empty box or whatever, they will deposit it everywhere they can within the nest and plug it right out. So we have to be very careful. 
and I drawed a lot of foundation, but one frame or two frames at a time. They'll walk right through that. Once they start filling out this comb here, one frame isn't a lot of work, you know. They'll put that wax that they're building and they're producing, which would normally would cap everywhere. They put it on that frame, fill it out. But this will be the last one to fill out. This box will fill out first and that foundation will be drawn out and plugged up afterwards. So any rate, It's just a little thing, just a little way that we have to manage our bees and heavy flows. Oh my goodness, hope they don't all swarm. But they're busy, so that's good. I've only seen, I went through the yard of 40, I only seen three maybe that weren't working. Probably because they swarmed already. And one that was bearding and wasn't working. So that's a good sign. That means all the rest of my girls are working producing honey and doing what they should to without bothering, without buggering off on me. But we don't have a lot of time yet. One of my nuke yards, quite busy. I don't expect them to be producing any honey. Box is full. This yard is scheduled to be pulled on Monday. Looks like I'm right on them. I'm not going to give them any more space. I'm going to let them fill right up. Ooh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I, to be honest, I didn't quite expect this. This is the larger of the new carriage though. That is right full. Hmm. That is right full. Hmm. Maybe we're gonna need to put boxes on these guys. Should have another box on them. So that one, I'll take that box away. I'll put it on that one over there. That's full. Just starting to draw the cappings down. Goodness gracious. That is excellent news.